where the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere Hello friends! Welcome back to Essa's Kitchen and today what I'm going to make is a really exciting and really fun recipe and this is again like a party food but it can be used on a daily basis you can make it just for yourself and have a full bowl of it so today I'm going to make two of my favorite salads one is mixed bean salad and the other one is the potato salad so let's get started with it so for the mixed bean salad we'll start off by chopping or cutting our onion so I'm just gonna peel the onion here and we're going to make it like thin julienne style i'll show you and yes of course i'm going to keep one bell next to me so that i can put all the ingredients states inside the bowl okay so i have peeled the onion let me show you how i'm going to do this whenever you're cutting make sure your fingers are like this not like this otherwise you're going to chop your fingers off just make sure it's like this and there you go. That's it. And another one. Great. That's one piece left here. And awesome. Now I'm going to just make sure i'll rinse this once with the water otherwise you'll have a very strong punchy taste so i'm just going to rinse this in the water and i'll be right back so now that i have these onions rinsed with water let's start making this salad so i'm going to take a big salad bowl like this i'm going to put some onion in here and the next bit i'm going to do is going to chop some cucumber so let's start by slitting the cucumber in the middle and I'm gonna slit it from here. Now, while making a salad, make sure you take this watery bit out because it's going to make your salad a bit runny. We're going to add the dressing as well. So we don't want it to be more runny. So I'm gonna just take this watery bit out like this and here we go. Okay, now we're going to chop them. Cut it like this and just big chunky pieces. I love cucumber. Even my son loves cucumber. <clears throat> there you go. Big chunky pieces. Okay. And slit in the middle, chop. And also, with, while making or assembling these salads, I'll also make the salad dressing. And that's what actually makes this salad shine. There we go. I'll just make a big slit here. And there we go. And all the cucumber in the salad bowl now. The next thing I'm going to do is start adding my beans. So let me show you what beans I'm using. So, I'm using some kidney beans and chickpeas. These are canned soya beans, very healthy. And we're going to use some corns. So these is this is what all we're going to use in the salad. And now we'll start making the dressing. So for this, we have taken some vinegar in here and I'm gonna add some soya sauce into this. This will be the dressing for your bean salad. Some oil, preferably olive oil, a little more. And my favorite ingredient in this dipping is the honey. We're going to add some honey in here and some pepper. OK, 
and I'm going to add some rock salt because soya is already very um, pungent. I'm also going to add some dried parsley here and we'll also add some dried dill. So I always keep these dry spices in my pantry because they're really nice. And we're going to just mix it now. So we're just going to mix everything all together. Make sure your honey is all mixed with all of these. Um, and it smells amazing. It had the pungentness of the vinegar, the saltiness of the soya, sweetness of the honey. And to keep it all together, it has the oil. And for the flavors, we have added some herbs. That's it. This is your dressing. Homemade dressing is ready. And now we're going to mix this all together. There we go. It is really healthy salad as well. So you can have it just for your lunch. The last bit I'm going to add in here a bit of a feta cheese. Just for some sourness. And some olives. That's it. I'm just going to clean my hand. And there we have. We're just going to toss the salad now. There we go. Now I'm just going to plate the salad. And look how amazing this salad looks. very vibrant full of color full of flavor it has a sweetness a sourness from vinegar and feta saltiness from the salt the rock salt and from um from the soya sauce so there we go we have our salad here and just to drizzle it a little bit of more feta who does not love more feta there we go now here is a tip for all the vegan friends <laughs> um, you can skip the feta and the honey from the dressing you can add, add a bit of a brown sugar and mix it with the dressing or jaggery is really good as well here is our one salad ready let's get started on our second salad so traditionally the potato salad is just boiled egg potatoes and mayonnaise but what we're going to do we're going to make it a bit more colorful because who does not like color <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just take boiled potatoes and cut them so cut them into pieces like this okay and separate them i have taken very small portions today because i'm just going to um have them as a sides but as i said the bean salad you can definitely have it as a meal i normally take that to work I just make it in the morning because it's easy to make all of the beans comes in a packaging like in cans so they're always there available in your pantry and yeah just make that salad take it to work with you and it's really nice so the second thing I'm gonna take is egg I'm gonna keep the yellow of the egg on the side and we're gonna use that later just gonna cut the white I'm gonna chop this in very tiny pieces like this there we go and now here is the thing which I'm going to add to make this colorful I'm gonna add the bo boiled vegetables these are just frozen vegetables I have boiled them and this just makes the potato and egg like traditional potato and egg salad but different from the usual one now we're going to use mayonnaise. You can use mayonnaise, you can use Greek yogurt, you can make your own yogurt dip. You can refer to my one video where I made the yogurt dip. That will go really well with the salad. So I'm just going to take the mayonnaise here. One spoon, that should be enough. And again, we're gonna take some pepper. little salt just because it already mayonnaise is very salty 
take the spoons, start mixing. Coat everything with the mayonnaise and now our egg yolk comes in a picture. Why I have segregated egg yolk? Because not many people nowadays or I remember my parents don't eat egg yolks. So I kept it aside but if you do eat just sprinkle it on top like this. I've used it one right here. Now I'm going to use a little bit of herbs of course as I like to use quite a lot of herbs. So here I'm using some chives and we'll use some dill. If you have a fresh herbs, please use them and mix it all together. Let's plate this one. It looks so yummy, my mouth is watering while making these salads. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna bring this all here. salad ready and just gonna incorporate it everything like this and now the second yolk is gonna just be the top like this you can top it off with some olives if you like who does not like bit of olive there you go here is the second salad ready and trust me this one is really yummy and very creamy if you make it with the yogurt it's gonna taste bit um bit different than the regular or traditional egg and potato salad but it's gonna taste amazing it will be just a healthier version of it but traditionally it's been made with mayonnaise mayonnaise sorry and that's how i made it so this is and here here is our two salads ready you can have it on a dinner party you can have it as a lunch as i mentioned and you can also make it into big batches and have like for a massive get togethers which is really amazing because this is very um, crowd pleasing everybody loves some good salad so do make this video do try and let me know how it turns out leave a comment and please do not forget to subscribe like and share ss kitchen thank you so much for watching see you later bye